Hi, Darla DeMauro from Heartwork Organizing, and I have a hot tip for you on how to store your winter quilts and bedspreads. Now, I know your instinct is to run for the space bag and get some space back for the summer, but don't do it. Fabric conservators would tell you that your fabric wants to breathe. So here's what I do instead. I actually go for a king size uh, pillowcase, and I end up making this cute little Tootsie Roll that I can store in a closet or even on a guest bed and it looks great. Now my down comforter is really in here and I'm going to show you how to do this. So take my king size, uh, if you have a smaller quilt, maybe for a kids, a twin size bed, you could use a smaller pillowcase for sure. But this is just a regular old pillowcase and locate the opening. And then you find your blanket, your quilt or bedspread that you want to, uh, to store and you remove the cat. All right, you guys have seen Nina before. Oh, and it is time to get up. So I'm not being so, so mean to her, but she always, if you have cats, you know that they always go for the softest spot in the house. Bless you. All right, you're gonna take your blanket, your quilt, or your, um, in my case over there, I have a down comforter. You're gonna roll it up nice and tight and pretend it's a pillow. This does take a little bit of little bit of wrestling, you know, the uh, wrestling alligators. Oh my goodness. That is my kitty cat doing the cutest sneeze ever. So uh, once you get your quilt or comforter or blanket inside, I actually like to create a little Tootsie Roll, push in the ends. So I'm going to push in the loose ends over here. And you can make this part of your guest bed on song and uh, store it in plain sight. Or like I said, you can take a couple of them, put them right in the linen closet, and they won't have that plasticky smell when you get them out in the fall. So I hope that is a tip that you love. And uh, if you love it, please comment below. Thanks.